Houston, big moves. Yes. Morey goes to the Sixers, and now Houston, they have their new head coach. Yeah, it's not a veteran name, as you mentioned. It's a first-timer. Steven Silas will be James Harden's next head coach. According to Adrian Wojnarowski, the former Dallas Mavericks assistant will take over in Houston. It is breaking news tonight here on SportsCenter. The team is finishing up the details. An announcement will be made soon. The 46-year-old Silas has been an NBA assistant for nearly two decades. Now he oversees a team with future Hall of Famers in that backcourt, and that is Harden and Russell Westbrook. So, who exactly is Steven Silas? He was an assistant with four different franchises and nearly two decades of experience. He was reportedly a, a leading candidate for this exact same job back in 2016, but the Rockets decided to go with Mike D'Antoni, his dad. Paul Silas was a three-time champ and also a longtime head coach in the league, most notably LeBron James' first head coach with the Cavaliers in 2003. And Adrian Wojnarowski joining us now with much more on this breaking news. Woj, so Jeff Van Gundy, he was also in the mix here to return to Houston. And why did the Rockets ultimately go with Silas? Well, the Rockets did talk extensively with Jeff Van Gundy, Kevin. And, you know, ultimately, I think from Jeff Van Gundy's end, there just wasn't a fit there. Uh, I do think he'd like to return to coaching, uh, but not a fit there this time. And Steven Silas uh, was, you know, a prominent part, has been a prominent part of that uh, Houston search. Uh, he's been in Dallas under Rick Carlisle most recently uh, as an assistant and has coached some great guards in his career as an assistant coach. Luka Doncic, Kemba Walker in Charlotte, Steph Curry in Golden State. And uh, I, I know that the Rockets really liked his innovation offensively and uh, the ideas he had to build a new system now around uh, Harden and Russell Westbrook. And uh, listen, this is somebody who grew up in the coaching profession. Obviously, his father, Paul Silas, not just a legendary player in the league, but really an outstanding coach. And, uh, you know, he certainly comes with great pedigree to the Rockets. Now, this is the first big decision Houston has made without Daryl Morey after he left. Here, and you are reporting earlier today that Maury is finalizing a deal to become president of the 76ers. How did this deal come about with Philly? Really immediately after Daryl Morey had walked away from the Rockets, these conversations with the Sixers began, and really they were a continuation of some conversations he had with the Sixers a couple years ago. They went after him um, when they had uh, a, a previous front office search that led them to hire Elton Brand. Um, he essentially leveraged that past Sixers offer into a new deal in Houston, but we know things changed in Houston here over the last year, uh, and Daryl Morey remained uh, really a prominent figure in the minds of uh, Philadelphia's ownership group. You know, remember, Sam Hankey was mm -hmm. a disciple of Daryl Morey in Houston, and now he comes in with Doc Rivers. Uh, they're finalizing the terms on Morey's uh, contract. He will be the president of basketball operations in Philadelphia. He will oversee uh, the entire organization, and it is certainly a different day for the Sixers uh, having Daryl Morey come in and run the team uh, and, and certainly a relationship with Doc Rivers that also dates back. Yeah. You, you mentioned, Hinky, this is a different type of trusting the process because the Sixers have now two stars in their mid-20s as they try to build this foundation, Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons. Let, let's go a little bit deeper with this connection with Morey and Doc Rivers. What does that mean for this franchise going forward? Well, Doc Rivers was certainly enthusiastic about Morey coming on before Daryl Morey left the Rockets, you know, he had tried to hire Doc Rivers in Houston with Tillman Fertitta, their owner. He went to the Sixers, and then that process started to bring uh, Morey to Philadelphia. But, you know, these are two, two uh, individuals who wanted to work together, who are excited about working together. And ultimately, you know, they're going to be charged uh, with putting the pieces together on this roster and deciding, you know, with the Joel Embiid, Ben Simmons partnership, how they might proceed. I think the plan continues to be to complement those two players, find those around them uh, that will uh, make Embiid and uh, Simmons, uh, you know, blossom as a, as a partnership. Uh, I think they think there's plenty to do around them. Ultimately, is there a decision to be made about doing a big trade? Are they both destined to be in Philadelphia a long time? Well, that's the conversation now that starts 
with Rivers and, and Daryl Morey, but certainly I think the plan right now is to move forward with those two uh, and, and see how they can uh, supplement around them here in this offseason. You know and I know they need shooters. Ryan knows as well. We'll mm -hmm. see how that plays out. That is the task for Morey moving forward. And we just saw this graphic over the last 13 years. Morey has made the most trades in the NBA, just one ahead of the Sixers. Woj with the breaking news tonight here in the NBA. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.